Hello. Hi, good evening, welcome, my name's Barry, and I'm Jay, and together we are with Tisu Crafts. Yes, welcome to our channel, we're independent snapping up demonstrate our space in the UK, so if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current snapping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month, or any extra gifts if your order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Snapping Gum Squad and the Global Creative Project design team. So for the month of May 2022, the free tutorials are Artfully Composed Suite and Milestones theme and previous tutorial bundles, if you did miss getting those for free, are available from our website as well, like last month's New Horizon Suite and Boys 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 theme. Uh, we give away the cards that we create uh, during the live stream, uh, so don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and pop in a comment um, during the live stream or during the replay and will be put into the random draw. Uh, there's no drawing tonight uh, because we had to cancel last week's, no, last Wednesday's yes. live. Yes, due to time. We've had a few, well, fingers crossed. I saw Maureen, I saw your comment there. Fingers crossed. Um, mm. We spent the last of that, which why we're a little bit late because we did have some gremlins this evening. I think we sorted it, so fingers crossed. But yeah, like Jay said, we didn't do, we, there's, there's no card to give away at the beginning, but um, we will we, we'll say hi to everyone and then we will then recap on who won the card on Wednesday because I don't think any of you saw it because it cut off. So we will do, we will tell that person again, yeah. um, but it won't, it's, yeah, it will be from the old um, thing. So we've got it already. We did do the draw, but it's just, it didn't. Yeah, show for you it just cut out and didn't <laughs> missed it out completely so um say hi say hi to everyone yes so we have louise hello to janice uh connie hello and, and congratulations yes um lovely pictures thank you for sharing yes thank you and yes uh all the best uh and we have from hamburg we have nikki uh, from the netherlands hello Angie, hi Angie, thanks so much for your um, donation as well, thank you. That will go towards um, a new stamp set or something for the cats, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have Lavinia, Vicky, oh, I miss people, sorry. Dana, hello, <laughs> from Idaho. Um, we also have Susan, Lisa, Teresa, uh, Sherry, Gian, Betty H, a mother favor request counting commissioner. So pop in your guesses. Um, I, how many times I'll ask Barry for a favor this evening, uh, as it's me who's demonstrating. And then we have Nani Shasha. Uh, I was checking Barry was doing it. Uh, Sandra, hello. Uh, we also have Krista. Hello, Krista. Hi, Krista. Yay. Um, so Krista is our moderator, so uh, if you have any questions, hopefully she'll pick it up. If not, Barry will. Uh, we also have Linda and Judy, hello, to Keisha and Wendy, Marion, hello. Yay, Marion. Glad to see you again, Marion. Thanks for joining us. And we have Maureen. Um, wow, there's loads. Uh, Angie, I think jumped pat hello <laughs> sue claire alice uh brenda elizabeth mary uh <laughs> it's just coming uh and i think that's it <laughs> he, he rushed it at the end there no more names <laughs> so um yes yeah, so thank you all so much for joining us and um, thank you for um obviously yeah like connie for sharing your lovely pictures thank you for angie for your donation we did get your email i just haven't responded to you yet um so thank you for that um but yes so jay you've got jay tonight for both cards you're gonna have the card which he should have started on wednesday but we decided to can it because it just wasn't worth it um to Oh, just, just uh, I saw oh. jump there. I put stuff. Oh, we're jumping again, um, but no, that's fine. Um, so we did do the we did do the drawing for this card here, which was the second card Jay made on, which would have been last Sunday. So we did do the drawing from that, and the lucky winner of that one there was. Let me just get the um, get it up oh, on did you screen. Manage to, um... 
Let's go uh, over. You screenshot. I did screenshot it. So let's go over to it. The lucky winner of that card was Betty Bailey. So, um, Betty Bailey, if you could please email us at Barry and Jay at Please pop, um, please pop today's date in there. Um, the twenty second of. Um, what month May. Are we? May 2022. <laughs> um, or the 18th. doesn't really matter. Cause what you, you want it on the 18th. Um, but either the two dates. And then we will then pop that card in the post to you. So, Betty, yes. You were the winner on on Wednesday evening. Um, so, good. So, there we go. That card there is going to be working its way over to you. Well, I'm going to hand you over to Jay now. He will then carry on with tonight's demonstration. He's huffing and puffing already. That <laughs> himself he's forgotten something. I don't or, know. Um, he, yes. So I'm going to leave you in the hands of Jay, and um, enjoy. Let's see what he's got. He's got. He's actually played. This is the stamp set we're playing with tonight. Paradise Palms with the palm dies. There we go. So enjoy to everyone, and I will see you at the end. Yes, we have our online card making class this Tuesday with this bundle. Um, so if the worldwide option is still open, so if you'd love to join us, um, go ahead and book your space uh, from our website. It's still open. So yeah, so Paradise Palms. I don't know if we've actually done a live with this one yet. Have we? I don't remember. Uh, it's one of the ones from the mini catalog. Is it, Barry? Um, the, it, that's going to carry over to the... Uh, or carried yeah, over, carried over to the an, uh, annual catalogue. So, um, so yes, so, uh, the dice comes with coordinating dice with those stamps and that one I've already taken off. And obviously the trees for these as well with some lovely sentiments on there. So um, for my first one, I did go ahead and do some die cutting. Um, I managed to design one card, which is going to be the second card uh, for my first one. It's still up in the air, <laughs> ish. Um, I wanted to use the new in colors with it, but the first one is probably just going to be black and white. Um, so I have what do I have here? One, two, three. Oh, where's my paper gone? It's in my other pot. So yes, yeah, so I've got thick basic white. Uh, we've changed our dimension just so it fits the European and South Pacific uh, <laughs> measurements as well as the US and Canadian um, markets. So A4 is thinner and taller um, the US is wider and shorter so our and this is I think we're gonna start doing this for our online classes as well so this one is 14 centimeters or five and a half inches by 21 centimeters or eight and a quarter so we know both um, like any cardstock would act, you can just cut it down so you can't add more cardstock uh, and it's just the idea is just so you can make more uh, make use of um, your full card stock um, and make two cards so this one is just thick basic white i do have a layer uh, of just normal basic white which is one centimeter or three eighths of an inch smaller than the card front um, so that makes it 9.5 by 13. Um, I don't know the inches. <laughs> 518 by three and three quarters of an inch. Um, so, and this one, I've gone ahead and die cut three of this die here. So it, I don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> the die, but it, it reminds me when I was growing up, uh, we had some, no, it wasn't tiles, it was more like a breeze block or something. And that's what it reminded me of, and it was grey, but I, I'm just going to keep it white on white. And I was going to use the stylish shapes 
dice, the new one, to create a frame. And I thought, well, if you have the bundle, maybe you can make a frame with this one. So that's the idea for this first card anyway. Uh, this brush is the um, additional attachment for Take Your Pick tool. I'm too lazy to take put it on. <laughs> I can still do it, see? It still works. Pat from the Crafter has asked, what is, your, what, what is our regular card size? A regular card size, or for UK, if you want to use, um, or for A4 card, if you want to create two cards from one A4, it's normally 14.85, shall I say. A lot of people go 14.8 or 14.9, but it's actually 14.85 if you want to be really accurate. <laughs> By 21 centimeters, so it's like 5 and... Three, fourteen. Uh, so I would say it's like really odd in inches. It's nearly five and seven eighths, but it's not even five and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's not even in between five thirteen sixteenth and five seven eighths of an inch. <laughs> Set a load of numbers and confuse exactly so that's why we like to cut down our card sizes so it's easier for us um, and hopefully easier to understand um, and again when we're doing tutorials it's it'll just be easier to convert so one layer one layer and I'm gonna die cut another one because obviously a frame will have four sides right okay so I'll do that now Machine, where are you? I'm surprised Suki hasn't said anything yet because she is right on uh, in the hallway <laughs> waiting for you, Barry. I know. And also, I quite like that you can create. Sorry, cut here. Uh, straight lines with this, so you can. Once you've die cut this, you can use it as a stencil. Just the lines, All right? I'm just gonna go back. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Amanda. Do I need to die cut them? Probably later. There we go. I just wanted to cut one. For now, my chamois is a bit dry. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> it's fine, I've got the um, scrub. There we go. So I, I, I did cut it into a thick, basic white. I had an off cut, so, and plus, if I'm gonna make a frame, it'll probably be easy much more heavier than the normal one although I'm gonna use a normal one for the second one so whilst I have this on I'm just gonna stamp you may have seen already um, that in Mento and I'm gonna heat set it as well where are we block Karen, she's just discovered our channel. Oh, hi Karen. Glad you found us. Thank you. And it'll be interesting how you found us. If you can um, yeah, let, us know. let us know in the comment. Because we know that... Um, Got a few names which I haven't seen before. Susie as well, Susie Fink. Ah. A new name I haven't seen for a while. Or uh, not, not sure I don't think I've seen. So we hi, know Susie. that... Yeah, hi Susie. There's a few gone in there tonight. So thank you all so much for joining us. There we go. So ink it up in Versamark first. And then Memento. And then that just keeps the ink uh, nice and wet. Oh, I didn't. 
I know I have a problem later, so I'm just gonna emboss use cornstarch or emboss somebody. Hopefully it stayed wet after waiting a long time for that. Well, it wasn't that long. And I'm going to clear emboss it. So clear stamping emboss powder. I believe it is now in a pack of three with the white and the black, maybe. So you can see that it's covered. done and heat tool All right I'm just gonna heat set it cover your ears now So that is done. I'm gonna cut that in a sec. So hopefully you can see the shine. It just gives a different um, look to the card. And I will share another, where's my layer gone? So I have a layer. Thanks so much, Mandy. So I'm going to. And Louise has just asked your question there as well. How do you and Barry come up with ideas for cards? What's your thought process? I always have trouble thinking where to start. Um, I don't know what what do you do, Barry? <laughs> Barry tends to um, start off with a, an idea either from the catalog, which is a great um, source of inspiration because there's loads of different things that you can look out for, like layouts. Uh, and color combination and things like that. And I case a lot. As I, I case and, and then find that I selectively edit. Yeah, so well. you start off with a particular image and then um, kind of like change it how, as you're um, crafting. I tend, I again, my, I tend to look at more colors, color combination, although I'm using white and black uh, for this one. I look at colors. Um, I work as well in a stationery shop, so I look at um, pro uh, product colors or like customers, what they're wearing. Uh, so fashion uh, shop windows sometimes inspire me as well, uh, and it depends if uh, I'm part of obviously a couple of design teams. So depending on the challenges or the themes, um, and then I just kind of like look at maybe what techniques can you can use with that particular set or bundle or what techniques you want to use um, as well you want to try because sometimes I try to make it work sometimes I, I make it harder for myself I want to use a technique I'm gonna try and make it work for that particular card <laughs> as you may have seen last Wednesday <laughs> or Sunday uh, <laughs> So yes, uh, but the catalog is a great source of inspiration and um, you yeah. can take a notebook and pad and start sketching layouts so then you're not overly too um, focused on what products they're using, if you know what I mean. Uh, and talking about catalogs uh, if you would like an annual catalog and you live in the UK um, do let us know if you don't have a demonstrator yet but she's asked do you pick a stamp set and then decide the designs or you just go and see an idea and go with that um, so for our classes uh, we we normally buy uh, a few bundles and we use those on our lives so we've already got 
we Barry and I tab our catalog. So um, he gets his pick, I get his pick, uh, I get my pick. If both of us tab it, then we get it definitely. If we don't, then it's on our wish list. Um, so that's how we can like decide on what sets to use for lives and for our classes because we we like to make the most of our um, products so we use it for our lives and our classes as well uh, so I am going to emboss the layer I've taken off uh, plate number two so I've got one cutting plate three and I'm just gonna create now you can make this easier and just emboss this with a particular um, folder like the fern they, I was gonna emboss it with the fern but I thought I'll just make my own so this one I did create a, a card for the stamp stamp review crew with the grassy grove and I think this is what I did so I'm just gonna emboss it and if you just ask the question as well saying I'm assuming this is related to embossing stuff this is oh wow I don't have to purchase her free just, just because she doesn't have black embossing powder does this work with other colours as well so I'm not sure what you did oh the heat embossing okay. um yes uh it, I didn't do the black uh, that was clear so um, so you can use any colors if you start off with Versamark on your uh, on your stamp um, and then add the color that you would like clear emboss it and you have embossed any colors so loads of um, different well 62 colors I think. Yeah, lots of colors. Charlotte has joined us as well. So hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. All right. One last one, I think. There you go. Oh, maybe another one. So it's not too taxing. Just make sure that your sandwich is correct, otherwise you will cut your, um, whatchamacallit. And one more thing, Louise um, Tug has just asked, um, your classes, are they available after they've done live at the LA Today? They are, um, I put it up as a revisited, um, and it's still on the website as well. So uh, the last one we did was Amazing Silhouettes, I believe. Yes. Yeah, and then the one before that, I can't remember, maybe Hello Beautiful. <coughs> I can't speak properly. Beautiful. But Barbara will put up a link, or um, Krista will, hopefully. So I've got my embossed layer. Again, um, you can use embossing folder, but I quite like that I'm, I'm just using the bundle. I want to create a frame with this one. Um, I haven't done it yet, so bear with. <laughs> I might do, ooh, I quite like that it goes, okay, I'll, I'll go with it. Ah, I, I knew I needed to do something else, sorry. I was gonna die cut. the thing whatchamacallit right before I forget I will just die cut this because I want that um off out I must remember to put my plate number two back and do I do I want to die cut anything else Linda. Hi, Linda. Everyone seems to be liking your um, techniques tonight. Um, they've not seen um, a couple of techniques of you to show people that they've not. Cool. Them, so. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm glad. 
I do sometimes when when I I repeat a technique that I've done before. I'm just like, mm, maybe I should change it. But it's it's good because obviously we get new viewers as well. So I hope the regulars don't mind um, us repeating <laughs> techniques. First other one. There we go. Krista, Krista's Oh, thank you so much, Krista. Was Barry too slow? <laughs> I was gonna say that, but... Right. Has anyone got the magnetic plate yet? When the last time we ordered, we it wasn't available for us yet, but I believe it is now available. So do let us know what you think of it. We do need to order soon, so we may add it onto that. All right, I just cut the grass. I, I like this grass, and I'll be using it again later. All right. Ooh. Angelina has asked, will the silicon, silicon mat not break due to the sharp cutting edges? The answer to that is no. <laughs> the answer is no. It might mark it. Oh, sorry, our <laughs> it's really dirty. Um, but I haven't had any problems yet. Um, just be careful that it is the correct sandwich and you're not putting like a few cardstock in one go, as in like stuck cardstock, because otherwise it will cut it through. Um, I, I bought a cheapy one before, um, not to me, and that did cut through because it, was, it wasn't it was as sturdy as the craft sheet. And I think Barry binned it. <laughs> I was just like, where's it gone? And it was like, just buy the craft sheet. It's like, okay. <laughs> right, how many shall I put? So now that I have that, I want that in the middle or across. Does it work with that? I might cut it. So that is that. That one. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll add glue before I forget. There we go. Four, 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 and ooh, one. It's a bit wonka donk. It's fine. Everyone's come out saying there. Charlotte says the regulars will watch and enjoy whatever you do. Wendy said if you repeat techniques, it's never with the same products, so never boring. Oh, thank you. Um, Krista's That's getting good to know. This week. Ooh, do a review video, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Gian says yes. The plate is great and very heavy and sturdy. <gasps> cool. So it's different from the last one, right? Hmm. It's not that silly thing. It's not that silly thing. <laughs> It doesn't buckle now. No. Ooh, do you know what this reminds me? Uh, that Super Mario game, you know, with the crane, where he... Anyway. <laughs> with the princess. With Donkey Kong, that's it. <laughs> anyway, I, I wanted to keep that, but I think it's too long, so I will just cut it. So, um, here we go. I don't mind it being that... Um, straight edge I quite like that it's not um, edge to edge but it's easy enough you can cut it edge to edge if you prefer but there you go. and you can weave some ribbons in it anyway I'm <laughs> I won't add look even the other end looks nice as well but I will keep to this one I'm just gonna keep it flat I still don't have a sentiment. Ooh, what sentiment should I put? Oh, that, that is so wonky. 
it's fine. Right, that's that, and there we go. So it just gives it a different look, and I'm just gonna have what is my second card? I'll go to the there and sentiment. Where are we? I'm gonna use happy birthday later. Uh, Angelina has just asked, saying she still has a big shot. Is that okay? I'm gonna say yes, it still works the same. With the big yes. Shot. It does. Hope you find a little paradise. Um, I'm gonna change. <laughs> I'm gonna change that. It is big, so I'm just gonna do little paradise because it is gonna go. <laughs> gonna go to someone. I hope. Oh yes, we do. <coughs> I saved the uh, marker. We normally put it with our ink pads. So I'm just gonna do marker to stamp. You can, if you don't have the marker, get one, or uh, use the masking paper or a ma uh, tape to mask the other ends. Maybe I should have done that in the um, sweet. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> in sweet sorbet, I, we don't get the um, stamping right markers in the in colors, unfortunately. Um, Pat Lindgren Craft Crafter has asked, has this technique been around for a long time? She's never seen dry embossing with a dye before. It has been around. A long it time, has. Yeah, it? I have been. We've I've, known it. Yeah, We've I've been. I've been using it before we became demonstrators and that's nearly seven years ago when we first started but it hasn't been seven years since I've been using it if you know what I mean um, we've been crafting since 2015 yeah, yeah cool card making, anyway, card yeah. making. yeah. I, I was doing crochet before Barry was doing cross stitch, cross -stitch. Um, I, I started knitting, but it didn't, I, it, I, I, I just couldn't get on with it. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Uh, oh, there's a thing. I'm going to do that later. Karen says she, um, our channel is recommended from the lovely Patty Bennett. Oh. Um, from one of her YouTube videos. That's Patty's cool. lovely. Patty's very nice, yes. We love Patty. She's very, um... We've done, a, we've done a few things with Patty, haven't we? Yeah. She's very generous as well. And a great crafter. Ooh, was that Suki? No, that's Minnie. That's that Minnie, wow. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Louise just said those palms that love the uh, gold embossed. Yeah. I did think of doing uh, another idea that I had. I'm, I'll just tell you because... I won't have time. <laughs> is actually do the palms going in wards so like you're looking up on it and do some sponging with pinks and purples. So Who wants to see that Wednesday? <laughs> no, you're trying to get out of doing a live. Really, if, 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 there's a, if that's something that everyone wants to see, then that could be Wednesday's card. <gasps> I guess. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do use glue dot i want it to not be too flat so i'm just gonna hi connie from denmark hi connie that still work yeah. wow denmark I'm folding it so I can't see too much of the glue dot and it will give extra height because of course if I 
if you wanted it higher up um, if you use stamping dimensionals it may you may see it this is taking me a long time hope the second one shouldn't be as long <laughs> Jesus. nearly done um, I think you're doing that card on Wednesday Jay <laughs> But Sherry, yes, definitely want to see that card. Sounds gorgeous. Um, yes, we've got Jay can show us on Wednesday. Betty Baby saying yes, love to see that on Wednesday. So yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know Betty. I'm, I've only done two lives this month so far. So. Um, and the idea for that is actually um, Google. I googled um, Linda, yes, please, palms. And one of it was an actual photograph or maybe enhanced photo, um, and yeah, I, I was just inspired with that. So sometimes I Google certain things, something to do with the stamp set or the bundle, and whatever comes up. If it's landscape or an artwork or um, colors, then I I use that as inspiration as well. So um, I haven't decided for this right. Just get on with it, Jay. <laughs> Get on with it. Um, lower, higher, and we have I'm just used looking for embellishment that may work. I quite like the brush brows. Ooh, we have our Open leaf trinket, no. <laughs> right, I will just use that one. And linen tread. Right. I'm saying I should get points for avoiding a lie. Nah. <laughs> you should. Penalized. You should. It's supposed to be two each. But if that's something people want to see. Then we are providing a service. <laughs> <laughs> providing inspiration. Maybe I don't need to do that far down. I knew I didn't need to do it. There we go. I will do it higher. And I want that as well. Right, left, left. So that's going to go. It's there. have asked you to fussy cut this one I won't fussy cut it I will just embrace the wonk and cut it down is the light okay yes yeah it's a dark view. it feels it feels dark for me right that's gonna be there you could make a oh no I'm doing that for the second card there we go Right, take that off. That's done. So, Louise, you said gold emboss. I'm gonna use brushed brass metallic instead. There's no gold. We've used up all the gold from our class kits. And it's windy, so it's going. <laughs> it's going to the right. And that's going to go there. Ooh, what, what, why did that fall? Sorry, what was it? It was the heat tool. Sorry about that. That was Tommy and his tail. <laughs> was it? 
He's got a really powerful KO. Okay, that one. Oh, um, am I stopping him? Uh -huh. So he's, he's got a dangerous tail. So he's behind me now. Yeah, that's just gonna go there. It's fine. I will nearly done <coughs> for the first card. There we go. And just add a bow. Oh, you're not coming down. Oh, I can tie it in. There you go. So I, can I tie you? Can I? Is there another cross? Oh no. No, okay. I will do it there. Oh. Our linen thread unraveled, so I tried to put it back in. <laughs> but I couldn't. Oh, I haven't done it properly. There you go. Right, I'm just gonna tie a bow. You can do some ink blending as well, but I, I'm i gonna do that for the second card, so I, I didn't do it for this card. Come on. I will. Oh, that's a long tail. <laughs> Look at all the ways. <laughs> I'm fine. I will leave it. Right. There we go. Make it smaller. I will play around with that. Hopefully you get the idea. Cut that down. Vicky asked us what if we made any decisions on stage this year. <coughs> oh, for to go? Yeah, I'm assuming, yes. Uh, I might go. I think I'm going to stay at home. I don't think we can afford both of us going. <laughs> There we go. Right, finish up with this one. Ooh. One, two, and let's hide one, right? There you go. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Big sigh. That's the first card done. Um, I will tidy up the bow. And if you have pop in a comment, you'll be put into the random draw at the end. So I'm just going to do the second card, which is going to be for the random draw on Wednesday. All right, that's done. That thing doesn't, I'm gonna put a block in it. There we go. It's just to get that. So for the next card, there is a lot. Of like <laughs> oh, what? Why are you laughing? There's a lot. Everyone's loving this card. Oh, thank you. Lots of people wanting to win it. <laughs> That's good. If you don't win it, you can make it too, right? Um, what was I doing? Tidying. <laughs> Trying to tidy. You know? Right. Um, the next one is. Against uh, the base is fourteen by twenty one centimeters, which is where are we? And uh, um, 
I'm gonna head and die cut a few stuff. It's all in basic white still. So there we go. I've got one piece of the strip, two of the palm leaves, I guess. Uh, two of the grass and I'm gonna need to use this as my stencil as well. I got two layers of the same sizes which is 7 centimeters by 10.5 or that's two and three quarters of an inch by four and one eighths of an inch. So that's just basic white and one's just gonna be a layer underneath. This one we're going to be using as a proper layer. What else do I need actually? I need to do some stamping first. So. Charlotte's asking where we'll be posting pictures of this on our blog. She, she can never keep up or keep straight for which ones we post or not. Yeah, um, we tend to not post YouTube ones. <laughs> it's really bad. I tend, to, I tend to post pictures sometimes on Facebook. Yeah. Um, sometimes when I'm, I'm really organized, what I tend to do is if I've got a blog hop or a challenge, I tend to use those to inspire what, the, what I'll be use, doing for a live um, as well. So sometimes it's already in the blog, if that makes sense. I'm just cutting this down basic white for my stamping. Clary has just asked, did I understand you correctly, that the current dies and embossing folders work with the old Big Shot, big shot without damaging the stamping out products? I, 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 we still have ours um, and we use it, I use it well, quite we, a lot. Well, we use it every single day yeah. Big Shot. But the, the plate, the cutting plate has kind of like cracked and stuff so I don't know if that's due to the dies but it's just the plates so... Well, uh, Barris is getting it to show you. <laughs> it, this won't be pointed. The, the cutting plates have cracked a little bit, <laughs> but this is our. This, this is our, we still use our big shots. This one here, the magnetic platform, and our plates with um, stamping up dies, and it works perfectly fine. Yeah, embossing folders, but you change. Make sure you change your your plates, plates. your embossing folders. Yeah, if it's too tight, if it doesn't go in, don't force it. So we have, so I'm just going to stamp these, so the big palms this time, I'm going to go with two, now you can em emboss it as well, but I won't, or shall I? <laughs> I'm just staggering it. Where's Hi Louise? Anything. Hi Louise! Sorry. Uh, a little bit. What's that? A little bit of what? <laughs> Mambo number five. <laughs> Barry started singing. Cover your ears. <laughs> you say that to me! It's true. <laughs> I, I sing like an angel. <laughs> you sing like an angel. I'm not gonna say anything. Tommy, are you sitting on the chami? Where did I put the chami? Did you move it, Barry? No, I didn't. I gave it to you. No, I know. I moved it. I've got it. It's fine. <laughs> it's because you came over and you moved the trolley. So it's just like, I'm sure it was on the trolley. Sorry. Um, so that one is gonna go there. <laughs> Lovely. So again, just memento. Tommy, please decide where you wanna sit. Because he, can you get him please? 
he's just back and forth next to me on the seat on the sofa behind me <laughs> on my chair just sit down <laughs> is it is it because he's not getting attention? All right. That that that, and I will use that for sentiment. So, sentiment wise, I'm gonna use happy birthday, and I'm gonna use the. Wendy's like said, we can uh, new plates can be purchased, boys. <laughs> I think it's a competition now to see how long we can actually go before they actually break. We do have new plates in the house. <laughs> I always have to move, make sure that I put like the the dice in one side, and then if I forget, I just flip it. It's fine. I don't think we have no. We don't have new I think that's the one. that's like that is the new one. That was there. the new one or like the new one we had to like on standby. Right, we need this one. Stuff. Do get a smaller thing. Right, so with this card, I'm gonna use the ink colors. Uh, they are really bright and cheerful. And they have two. So you have the Hishin Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis. Oasis, Oasis, <laughs> and Starry Sky, and um, I thought, well, all five would actually fit with this particular card, or I made it work. <laughs> we do, we do actually oh, we have do. two brand new we're plates, just, but we're just too tight to too, use them. <laughs> we're just too tight and too lazy to get it out. I'll put them in there. And because uh, I've, yeah, I've done a couple of blog hops with in colors this was kind of like inspired the color combination with this one but you can use other colors but this one is lovely oh I was trying to close it the wrong way but yes the new in colors if you join if you live in the UK France Germany Austria or the Netherlands you can join our team join stamping up this month, May 2022, and you will get the color ink pads for free. A4 card stock um, for free. The color, in color designer series paper pack, six by six for free as well. So um, do consider joining Stampin' Up if you have a big wish list from the catalogs. So that, that, what else do I need? I need so okay i did have to stretch it with the sweet sorbet uh, because the sun i use for sweet sorbet but i'm sure that can be forgiven right and i did second generation stamping Or you can just use Mango Melody. Mango Melody, I think it's a nice yellow for sun. Nice and rich. Or during, or during uh, I guess, midday sun. That will build the light. <laughs> you know, there's different tones, right? Oh, Tommy, are you on the prowl again? So that's gonna be my die cut thing. I'm gonna, do I need to die cut anything else after I've done those? No, so I will do the die cutting now. And then carry on with the card. Sorry. Not nearly done yet. <laughs> oh, I 
do wish we have the magnetic plate right now. There we go. Will you move? Let's hope not. So the fun thing about these ones, it's got the circle on top. So you can actually add the palm leaves bit easily. Thank so, you, Vicky. Thanks so much, Vicky. Well, thank you, Mandy, as well, for ordering them to Ways of the Ocean Retreat. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, the Waves Retreat, uh, our first solo retreat, is still available. And on the day, it did go over a little bit. We just. A little bit. <laughs> we were just too ambitious. Uh, we wanted to share so much with the attendees. Um, I didn't really look at the time. I was just crafting along. But let us know what you think and share share your um, projects as well, Mandy, so we can see. That would be great. Oh, I think it's good. You're right. Yeah. Can you um? Let me get a second. Can you show Angelina how we store our stamps inside the case? With the stamps with, 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 Oh, okay. With, yes. I think that's the question she's asking. Yeah. Stamps inside the case. You know, we would put the um, the layer down so it. Oh, I see. Thing. Yes. So all of that is done. stamp so we make use of the actual whole sticky sheet once we've done the added the labels on each you right yeah. on each uh, stamp I just stick it down take off the backing and stick the whole thing down so then you know you can clearly see if one is missing we used to cut out the sticky sheet and use it for older stamps but you can get adhesive back adhesive sheets now for yeah. stamps um, and we hardly have any older stamps anyway but and then you got the name on there as well the color uh, color <laughs> what's it called product number but it's all in the name and we put in what um, dice it goes with as well at the back just so we know but that's how we do the stamps. Right, um, so one layer. I'm just gonna stick this on. So yeah, so those circular bits, you can just add glue. I think I've got this out too long and so I really like that feature very well designed I think oh that was a bit blobby and there are there is like a coconut stamp which you can do as well but I'm not going to do that so whilst that's drying I'm gonna crack on with this one. I'm just gonna use so I'm gonna do a bit of sponging. So we'll just make sure that it's nice and flat because I don't want and I'm with the die cut I've already got a stencil. I will just cut out just to make it a bit bigger. Yeah, because the green, the green, yeah, the parakeet party and Tahitian tide, I think are really great for um, blending for the, the grass and the sky. So I'm going to start off with parakeet party. 
probably just halfway down. If it bubbles, so sorry. So lightly, lightly, it will get covered some, some of it. Go down a bit, add a bit more color. And then down a bit. Just gonna tie that over. There is a, also a grass stamp on there, so you can stamp it instead if you don't want to do some blending. So for the sky, I will just do the Tahitian hish, tide. Where's my glue? Sometimes if I don't want to do a full <laughs> coverage, I just use, I just add it in one corner or more towards one corner. Maybe a bit more. And I'm just gonna darken the edges slightly with the Orchid Oasis. It's a darker purple. Ooh, moody. <laughs> Right, so that is done. I will do some of this. I should have done this first as well. So that's done. Right, for this one, you can just cut it with Barraki Party if you would like. But I do like the look of watercolor as well sometimes. So if you just get Parakeet Party. And then spritz that with water. I have to smell these, sorry. <laughs> I don't know which one's alcohol. Oh, I think they're both alcohol. Where's the water? Oh, that is water. There we go. The one labeled water. Ooh, shall I use alcohol? It might dry faster. I will use alcohol. Uh, my, my sample did use water. I'm going to try and use rubbing alcohol. Just because it did took a while to dry and, and it doesn't look as nice though it's quite dark ah that's fine there we go where's the other one there maybe if i add more that'll be lighter right that makes sense Tissue. Oh, there's tissue here. Huh? You're right. Novel idea: labeling the water bottle as water. Good job, 
<laughs> yeah, Barrett, Barrett did that, and I, I couldn't see it. I was like, where's the, where's the water one? I was holding it like that, and I couldn't see it. It was actually there. <laughs> but the other, yeah, the other one we use for rubbing alcohol. So that's colored, that's colored. Um, that's done, that's done. Ooh, another one. So I've, I'm just going to add Barky Party to the top of this one. Just the top. So I didn't re-ink it. So just the excess ink. Here we go. Right, nearly done. <laughs> Let's construct. So we have that one. I think whatever ink we'll have that. That one's just gonna be a layer for this one. Just peeking out, and then we have flying strip. Mm. All right. That's fine. You can have some bits in, in left over in there. So that's gonna go there. That's gonna go down. There. So this one I did pre-designed and I'm just trying to remember. And that one's dry now, so that's good. Um, it's a lot darker than intended, but I'll show you the original. That one there. I think that is it. And where's my sentiment? So sentiment, I'm gonna... Thank you, Alice. Oh, thanks so much, Alice. So it's big. I'm just going to tear it down. slightly harder because this is a thick cardstock but you I just use whatever I had yeah. so it's kind of like a sign ish <laughs> so yes I think that's it cool right well construct so I'm just going to add this on. Layer up. I've gone wonky this time. Well, for this card because sometimes I get a bit too straight. <laughs> That's going to peek out there. Let's take that down. But sometimes, even though it's wonky, I try to keep the main frame straight sometimes, but I'm going to go wonk. Embrace the wonk, as we keep saying. That's done. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, Betty Bailey. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, Betty. Right, that one's done. That one's going to go there. So, as you can see, this is too tall. Well, too tall for my li liking. So. A question there from Charlotte. Um, she's had to. Uh, do you want to read it out there? It's just uh, 
I've heard that stamping on basic white thick doesn't turn out as well as it does on regular basic white. Do you find that to be the case? Um, it depends if it's a block color, I would say. Basic thick is basically um, a lot more coarser than um, basic white normal. So that's probably why. So if your stamp design is kind of like textured anyway, um, I would just go with basic white, um, thick. But if it's something smooth that you want, like the happy birthday wishes, birthday wishes, where it's a like photopolymer and it's block um, yes. design, I would use basic white normal. But that's the only thing that and a stamparatus. And a stamparatus. That's the only thing that I can think of uh, why people would say that. Uh, but it's thick. Uh, it's coarser. Um, it's not as I guess pressed down as the normal white. But I haven't noticed, to be honest, myself. So that's gonna go in there. Cool. Sorry. Let's see how you just gotta just go back to work. Okay. So, um, you, thank you, Betty, for uh, popping on. And Alison's joined us as well. Alison Russian. Oh, hi, Alison. Hi, Alison. You're in the draw. Ooh. So my palm leaves are darker, but. Ooh, if you do water first, so it's lighter, and then use the same color with alcohol, then it'll be darker. So you'll have a two-tone. That's something. Um. <laughs> what, what? So this one is actually just gonna go there. Oh, I should have added that first. Quick, quick, palm off, <laughs> palm off. Right, just dub those middle bits and glue. Did anyone say what this looks like for them? Um, I, I didn't see if they did. There, and that's gonna go over. Yeah. Web has joined us as well, coming from Patty Bennett's uh, oh. recommendation. Oh. We're going to have to send Patty a thank you card. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. So that's going to go there. Oh, I think I put that in dimensional. I'll put that in dimensional. Okay. Right, where's my mini? So yes, so um, I hope you enjoyed or enjoying yourselves. And for those who have joined us recently, um, the first, you are on the random draw already, but do check out the replay for the first card. Thank you so much, Mary. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Mary. Charlotte just said it's a Picasso card. It's, it's a Picasso card. What do you mean? Is that good? I, it's amazing. It's a work I, of art. Oh, okay. I, I, I think that's it. It's a work of art. Is that good? That's how I interpret that. that, that. I, because I remember my, uh, when I was at uni um my friend was uh we were reading a review and um 
he was there, there, there was a kid um, in the in the magazine and the reviewer said oh it's, he's like Picasso and I was like oh that's really good and then my friend turned around or is he saying that Picasso's work is looks like a kid's and I was just like what how can you say that <laughs> so ever since then I was just like okay <laughs> Um, there we go. That is done. Um, so I don't like the... Uh, no, I quite like the it's torn edges. It looks like it's coming out of the ground, I guess. So for the last bit, that is slightly bigger than I want. There we go. Oh no, I don't think I can repeat how tiny it was before. And I'm gonna do a bow again. So this time, not tied up, but I'm gonna, just gonna use a glue dot. Ooh, how did I do that? So on the corner of this, where's the blue dot? Tell me. <laughs> I know it's not, I don't know where I put stuff. Barry, did you see the glue dot? Oh, it's right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Right there. In the corner. And I'm gonna cut this up. Let's see if I can recreate it. I quite like how I did the bow in my original. And I think I bent it all in one place and then just glued it at the back. So it's it's kind of like a bunny ear. <laughs> There you go. That's it. And are you gonna play? Yes. And I'm just gonna add that with blue dots for the rest. And finally, I'm gonna finish it off with Hello, Tommy. You all right? Where are you going? Yep. Where's Suki? Oh, he, well, it's not his chair. <laughs> right, that is done. If you want to keep it up right, I tend to either loop it or stick it down with tiny bit of glue mini glue dot but I'm just gonna leave that there so for the send um, embellishment where is my embellishment top oh, yeah see that that one it was very this in color uh, matte decorative dots as I've already added um, Orchid Oasis, tiny bit, um, I will use Sweet Sorbet um, for this one. And, ooh! <laughs> How many have you just lost? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at something else. I did it way too hard. I'm sure it's somewhere. We'll find it or it. So um, I'm just gonna add this on sweet sorbet. Don't get a point if I find it. No, <laughs> that's just rude. Uh, that, 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 that. And ooh. one more. There we go. If you want more texture on the background, you could always 
sprinkle some water or wink of Stella before you construct a card. I'm actually done now, Barry. Okay. Um, with a big mess. There we go. Stay tuned because we're going to pick a winner now for one of the cards. Yes. Have you got anything to show? Um, no, I actually haven't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't think I have. Did we have any? Oh, we had the block. What about the pop card? Oh yes, that is the block block hop even. That one there. So yes, yeah, so we're going to give away what was the first card you the made? The first card was the black and white with a bit. So we're going to give away this card here right now. So if you've left us a comment in the obviously in the comment section here, the live chat, then we will be giving away. We'll be picking one of your names from that in a very it, it, just literally in a minute, a minute or two. Um, if you'd like to win the second card, this card here, which Jay has made. Then all you need to do is come back after this live, leave us another comment, and we will be picking that one live on Wednesday evening when we come back at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. So this one is going to be now, and this one will be Wednesday. So a comment for this one and a comment for that one there, and you will be in the draw. So I'm going to do all your names now yes. whilst, um, so whilst Jay chats to you quickly. Yeah. So this one was what I created last... Was it Wednesday? Wednesday afterwards. So this is um, kind of like what I did um, for that. Uh, so that one was the water water uh, instead of compared to the alcohol spritzing and a little bit heavy on the heavier on the blending brushes on there. So yeah, so the inspiration was basically in colors for that. I wanted to use the in colors, which I think it works still, uh, albeit some of the in colors are only a bit there. Uh, and on Saturday, there was the casually crafting blog hop so casual crafting kind of like um, one of the specification was not to use any dyes so uh, the so, you use scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so you use scissors I use a punch so that's not cheating um, so the bottled happiness uh, really like um, we got it for free for on tour yes uh, and we bought the punch and I just you can shorten down the bottle, turn it upside down, and you can create a pop party popper. I thought that was quite nice. <laughs> yes, I thought that was good. A lovely idea. Um, I think, was it Mandy? Was it you that asked where this is from? And I think I said to Jay, I said he wrote it with the um, with the white chalk marker. I uh, It is was that... just a white gel pen. White gel pen, was yeah. it? Yeah, because the chalk marker's not available, so it's just a white pen. Yeah, um, and the chalk, mark, the chalk marker is slightly thicker. But um, message us if you want the actual proper detail of what gel pen it is but I'm sure you have some in your stash yeah so lovely so we are going to go cool. over to we'll go the over. um to the live draw I think I've got everyone's names in there so we had a lot of us 54 names in but we wow. actually had close on 80 people come in tonight oh, wow. so um so the winner of good the luck card everyone. is going to be ouch <laughs> I hit my face Donna, Donna Miller. Miller, congratulations, Donna. Please email us at barryandj at mitosocrafts.com uh, with today's date, date. 22nd. <laughs> I don't to forget, what the, <laughs> to forget what today was. Today's date, 22nd of May 2022. Please, in subject line and your full mailing address, and we will pop that in the card to you um, as soon as possible. Amazing. Congratulations. So, I've got all three of them looking at me. Who's going to come up first and come and say hi? We, oh, oh we've got Minnie tonight. Oh, wow. Minnie, you don't normally... Come on. This is Minnie. Oh. She's she sometimes here. sits in her box. She does. She or, or she likes to sit around my neck. Go up there. Yeah. Because you take her up there. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Do come back and pop in a comment uh, on the replay. Uh, to win this second card, I hope you enjoyed that as well. Ooh, that's really bright. Isn't it? Where's the light? Down below. It's Down below. Really. You don't think it's that light, but no. There you go. That's fine. You can still see. Yay! So thank you again for everyone uh, for joining us as well as. Um, for all those super chats and donations, we really appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much for your all of that tonight. Yes, really appreciate it. 
So, thank you. Well, we will be back with you on Wednesday with Jay's lovely demonstration of what he said he was going to do this evening. He's now regretting saying that. No, I... Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Because I did have another co uh, another topper that... Um, it's a bit watercolour. I'm not going to show you the front because that's going to be my first card. <laughs> <laughs> for Wednesday, then. So, excellent. Lovely. Cool. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that. I think you did, by the sounds of all of your comments. And we really appreciate it. And we will be back with you on Wednesday... Same time, same place. Cool. And Take I care, Mini, And you're, you're honoured to have Minnie tonight. Yes. So, Aww. lovely. Excellent. Thank you all. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.